You know what they say about an apple a day. Not only does it keep the doctor away, it also makes some fabulous desserts. Ann Cox Eastis is here with us from Kroger with two yummy ideas for dessert. Right, delicious ideas using apples. Now, now that fall is upon us, even though it's still warm, I think about apples, and there's all different kinds of apples, but I chose to use the Granny Smith apples in these two recipes because they're a little bit tart. And for those of you who don't know what a Granny Smith is, it's a, it's a good looking green apple that's very firm. It's a good baking apple. And um, in this recipe for the apple dumplings, I actually peeled it and cored it. I used an apple core. If yeah, you this makes it easy, doesn't it? It does. You just if you go don't right have, down the middle. Right. If you don't have, it takes a lot of strength. If you don't have one of these, just cut it using a regular knife. But I tried it tw this recipe twice using the peel on, and it do the apples cook better if you go ahead and peel it. So I okay. did do that. And I wanted to show everybody, I peeled these apples early this morning and, and um, cut them into eight wedges. And I put the yellow that's in the recipe over them, and it keeps them from turning. So I thought that oh, was no kind of neat. I'm using uh, never heard of that. crescent dinner rolls, and, and since uh, this does have some butter in it, I went ahead and got the lower fat uh, crescent rolls. And okay. it doesn't matter if they look good when you're doing this or not, because it's going to bake up and it's just going to taste delicious. So a these are the refrigerated Refrigerated crescent rolls. Crescent rolls. They okay. come eight to a package, so you need two packages. You need two Granny Smith apples. Cut them in eight wedges a piece. And the reason I even uh, tried this recipe is because a friend had brought it to church a couple of times and I just raved about how good it was. And she said, Oh, it's so easy. So I got her recipe and I changed it a little bit, but pretty much this is a very, very easy recipe for those people who like apples. I think this could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, brunch. It's just maybe a really a, good version. During the Talk of the Town snack? Yes, that's what we're thinking. The talk of the town snack. Yes. <laughs> so you've already melted some butter down in I, your pan. I, I used a stick and a half of butter and I melted half of it and put it in the bottom of the baking dish and then the other we're going to pour on top in just a little bit okay. and I have combined a cup and a half of sugar with a tablespoon of cinnamon. I like cinnamon so that's what this is right here in this bowl. If you want to just kind of drizzle that on top all over my crescent rolls and apples. Okay. I started out with a cup of sugar and it wasn't quite sweet enough for me. So, you know, if y'all don't like things quite so sweet, go back to just a plain old cup. But I do like cinnamon, so I put a tablespoon of cinnamon in there. And then... It looks like a lot. Yeah, it does, but it look, look how nice it cooks up. Yeah. Okay, then I, the, that's the rest of my melted butter I'm pouring in there. So we're pouring a little bit just over the, mm -hmm. the top just of both. The top. Oh, and boy. now if you'll measure out 12 ounces of Mountain Dew, you could use Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow, Sierra Mist, anything like that. This is the liquid that makes this cook. And somebody says, is that kind of like a cobbler? And it is kind of like yeah. a cobbler in a way. Um, so any 12, kind of a clear or a yellow right, right. Um, soda. Right. And this is just your liquid. Like you, if you cooked your apples, you would have cooked them with some water and some sugar yeah. and so forth. So this is just a really easy way of doing it. And the crescent rolls, of course, puff up and rise as they're baking, and you can see what it looks like. It's wow. just delicious. That looks fabulous. How long are you baking? 35 to 45 minutes at okay. 350 degrees. So and easy. It, it is easy, and it's delicious served hot right out of the oven. Uh, you could serve it with some ice cream or whipped cream if you want to, or just at room temperature. It is delicious. That and then the sweet. other recipe that I tried was it's a apple fresh cake. apple cake, which I've done apple cakes on here before, and I put them in square pans. This is almost doubling that recipe, and I put it in a bunt pan because I think that looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. And just to spiff it up a little bit, we used a caramel glaze that we drizzled mm. on top. You poke holes in it when it comes out of the oven you know, still warm, and it's just got brown sugar and a little milk and vanilla and um, and it butter. It passed it the family butter. test? Oh, yes, it definitely passed Everybody the family test. Everybody likes it. I sprinkled a few pecans on top, and I put just a little dollop of whipping cream on if you wanted to serve it. But that's a good recipe that you can make ahead and freeze it if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, that sounds so. good. Those I are think you're going to like recipes. both of these recipes. I can't wait to try them. And thanks so much. My pleasure. Two great ideas. This is recipe number 5232. You'll find both of these recipes online now in the Talk of the Town Recipes section, newschannel5.com.